Hi, welcome to Christie's Stampin' Spot, which is really fun. I haven't used it as often as I want. It's fantastic, especially if you have um, people in your life that you make cards for that love coffee and or Starbucks. Um, they have, it's a really great set. And so, and it's also retiring it in its framelit, which is super sad, but um, you can still get them. So this is the card that I made in today's vlog. And I made like with the whip and I used the watercolor paper. Isn't that cute? That's super cute. And then I made a gift card holder on the side. We're gonna do something similar today. It's a little bit different, the card, because I'm going to, um, you see here's my gift card. It just slides right in there and you can do it on either way. The card that we're gonna do though, will only go this way. You can put it on both ways. And then the tear, you just make sure you use tear and tape to keep it on. Isn't that cute? Super cute, super cute, and I use the Taylor punch. That sang the Taylor um, tag punch, but sadly, our um, our coffee framelits are going, which are funny. I like it though, the coffee cup. So anyway, so that was yesterday's card or today's card on my blog, oh, and I um, we you can still order from the catalogs and the occasion and um, our annual until June third. Um, after but um. All, all retired products going fast. And remember, all wood and um, clear mount stamps are retiring. They've all the ones that are carrying over have been reconfigured to all be clean, and they will all be in our beautiful creativity is calling. Isn't that a gorgeous cover? I can't wait to show you guys. And I did get this set and that set, but I don't want to tease you too much with the new stuff. So we have such great. Um, stuff that's retiring so let's get stamping okay so I'm gonna make a variation of one of Rhonda Wade's cards that I absolutely love this is actually the card um, that I made for my newsletter so if you are not a newsletter subscriber um, get on there and get this because I'm about to change that um, but this is Rhonda's card and um, it shows off both pieces of the DSP so on sadly the the Bella Fr Bella and friends is retiring it's not a cute kitty oh my daughter likes that set so much but um, we're gonna make a variation of this card today um, so it's a little bit different but we're definitely gonna see both sides of the card the DSP that we're using is actually our retiring um, I have a little bit of it left that the, the tra Tranquil te Textures DSP. So um, I have a little bit of it left. I've gone through, I think this is my second pack. Third pack maybe? I love it. And the Tranquil Tide because I love Tranquil Tide. But it has this gorgeous, one of the papers that it has, it has this kind of bubbles that I thought was really nice for um, the cafe, the coffee cafe. And then it has this really fun... Um, Tinkle Tide pattern on the other side. So we're definitely doing that. Um, also, oh, I found in my stack of stuff from one of the swaps, and I don't have the name of who did it. I wonder if it's on the inside. Look how pretty this one is. They took, these are, let's see, does it say who it was? Oh, it does. No. Oh, yes. So it's um, Victoria from Canada. Oh my gosh, so she has her gift card holder where she put it in like a little a little piece right here and a short, like half the card, and it just fits the coffee cup. Isn't that super cute? That's super cute. So um, I'm actually going to make kind of one of these, but I'm going to use my label punch to make it a little bit more um, fun. Okay, so first I cut my 12 by 12 DSP. I cut it at four inches, and then I score it at um you score it at four and a half and nine and a half and then so you get a long piece and a short piece and the long piece you're gonna you just fold it over and you kind of just guess you just want to make sure that it overlaps a little bit so that you have this little a little piece of the other side showing because what's lovely about this card is that it has um it shows both sides of the dsp okay so now let's get my all my pieces out and while I was playing with it I dropped one of my pieces. I'm not sure how I did that because I had it all in here perfectly fabulous two seconds ago. Okay so we have this is the the four by four 
and then we're going to cut out all the pieces. So of that same um, piece of paper. And so I went ahead and these are our beautiful um, uh, coffee, coffee cup framelits. And what's fabulous is it actually, so I cut out the, um, in, in the crumb cake, I cut out this the little wrapper and it actually is corrugated. So it has the like a little, it's light, but it's, it's pretty cool, right? That, that, so you can just cut out the cup straight from that. And I, on the other card, I used the lid and did it in the vellum on very vanilla. But I just did a regular lid on this one and I cut it out in the early espresso. So put that out in early espresso. And then after I got those done, I did cut out some ovals from um, our fabulous layering ovals. I use these and I will have all the measurements on um, my blog. So I'll go on tomorrow and on this video. So I think I opened my thing too much and it all slipped out. So I'm going to, what did I do? Oh, here it is. Oh. So here's my oval. Being all careful and then I made a mess. <laughs> we get all this stuff out. Okay. So I'll need that for the one stamp. So we're actually going to use just the thanks to the, the um, out of the stamp set. We're just going to use the thanks a latte, which is fun because it um, it's like a thick stamp in that it's mostly color, and then um, it's reversed. I guess is that reverse where the thanks a latte is actually not where the ink is, and then we're going to use the cute little beans for the inside and the back. So now I need to find my. What I did with my one sheet that went all I totally dropped it. Okay. Well, luckily I have more paper. I will just pull it out. So I needed so what you need for a back for this, so let me grab my trimmer, is you just need a basic um so when you cut your eight and a half by eleven, you're just gonna cut it at four and a half and five or four and a quarter and five and a half. Because you need the full, you need the full piece to be your back. Okay, because we're gonna glue it, we're gonna glue it on just like this. I can't believe I lost that piece. Of course I lost that piece. Okay, then here's oh I must have must have like flipped fling it or something because the other one isn't there either. It's so crazy. Okay, and then for the inside, we need a very vanilla piece. So let me pull that out. And you need, so the very vanilla is smaller. So I need a four and a quarter. So let me go ahead and cut it. So when you guys get your eight and a half by 11, I always usually cut it down either in by five and a half or down the, the other side where I make the, um, the A4 ones. Okay, but this side, I just need it to be... What is that? Three and three fourths and five for the inside. It's so weird. It's a whole like right here. What did I do with it? Hm. Oh, that's funny. Super funny. I, I have been very messy. My, um, my space is like totally crazy at the moment. I went to go and clean and that did not work at all. Okay. Oh. Here it is. It slid right underneath this. Ugh. That's where it was. I'm like, I knew I had it. And now I've shown you guys how I've cut my paper. Let's put that back. So I don't leave myself. Okay, so now I actually have two sets of that. <laughs> so I have it. I can make another one. Right? Fabulous. Okay. So I'm just gonna first I'm gonna glue this on. So I'm gonna take my glue. And you're just gonna add glue to the back. And just add it to your cardstock, to your regular base, five and a half and four and a quarter. So just kind of center it in there, just like that. You can see, you can see all pretty. Okay, so on this side, you're gonna add 
our um, extra piece. So I have cut this piece and to make sure it's the right one, I had my little um, gift card to put it back in this. I took it out. Wow, it's gonna be, I'm definitely like losing everything today. What did I do with my little card? My gift card, I had it here. I have money on that gift card, so for Cinemark, oh here it is. Sorry, I don't want to loot, I don't want to lose my, my fabulous gift card. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I got the right piece since I dropped everything. Okay, so, so this one's pretty, this one is pretty um, tight, so I don't think this is the right pay, piece of paper. Well, that one's even more tight. Okay, so I do not like the way that looks. So I have missed, here's more paper, let me get out my, let me get out my cutter. Hi Stacy. So, um, let's see, this one is, so you need to make sure that it'll fit, but you need to make sure you have room for your, um, for your glue on each side, and I think I made it way too close. So, when you fold this down, when I first did it, I forgot that I had to fold this up. So when I was doing it, I made it way too close. So let me see. This this piece is three, I think. Let me measure it again to make sure. Yep, so it's three. So I'm going to just cut this piece down to right here. To like an eighth. Uh, I'll do an eighth down. There we go. Wait, wrong side. <laughs> wrong side. Okay, there there we go. Muy bien. I think it actually needs to be like, I should have done it a quarter inch. Um, yeah, there we go. Is that the same? Yeah, no, I just cut it down too far that way. And then cut it at, this is at four and at four. So I think I'm at three and a half. Well, let's make sure we get it so it's good. Right? Wait, no, no, no. Don't cut it the wrong way again, Christy. That's right. <laughs> That's the right way. Um, let's do it at three and a half. Muy bien. Yes, there you go. I did, I bet you I cut it twice the wrong way. That's how I did it. Okay. So this piece, once you get it in there, and again, I'll have the right measurements on there. So before we build the front, I'm just going to make sure I make sure that this fits. This will also give this a little bit more sturdy. Uh, stability. So you can use your paper. Once you figure it out what your card um, is going to be, then use your paper pen. Um, paper label. This is the pretty label punch. I'm just going to line it up so it's just like that. Not pretty. So it's going to go just like this. And then it will, so my card will go, my gift card will go just like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this on first. So use some tear and tape. I can get my new, brand new tear and tape. And you want to get it really close to the edges. Oh, let me get my cutter out of the way so I have my space. Right here. Okay. And I use the brown side. If you like the green, you can put the green. And get my paper snips. Oh, you can hear my wind chimes are really going out there. Wind has really picked up. Okay, so I'm not going to put glue all the way to the edge. Actually, what I really like to do on these is that I like to round the edges off. Not sure why, but I always do. I kind of like it better when I round the edge. Do do do. There we go. And then put the glue you know what I'm thinking. Let's see. Make sure. Yeah, that's going to be tight, isn't it? Okay. So I'm actually going to cut my glue strip in half.
just like that. So I know it'll fit. It helps me have a template. Like I said, I totally forgot how I was. I was like, ooh, I'll just totally do a reverse card. I love them so much. When you have the, um, you can see both sides of the DSP. I love it. But I forgot about folding it. I'm like, oh, there's plenty of room for it. <laughs> but you can totally do it. You just have to use your, make sure you have your gift card or your credit card, you know what I mean, or, you know what I mean, or ID, whatever. They're all basically the same size. If you have a card that you want to use, it's way different. Then definitely use that one for your um, template. And then just stick that in there. Just like that. Muy bien, see? And then stick it down. It totally fits. It totally works awesome. It does. <laughs> it slides right in there. Nice. Okay. All right, muy bien. So there we go. So we also are going to put a piece on the inside and we'll come on the back. But now we're going to make the front flap. So like I said, I've cut out um, an uh, early espresso piece with my big um, scallop oval. This is the biggest scallop oval. And this is the second of the regular ovals. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that on to here. So use a little glue. Put that on. Just lovely. Just like that. And then let's see how we want that. So when you put this on, I'm going to um, use dimensionals. But you want to make sure that you only put the, um, you don't put anything on the bottom half of your card because you don't want to close it off. Okay, so now we're going to build our cup. And I'm going to build my cup over here before I put it on that. Okay, so I have all my pieces that I cut. Yay! Here we go. Which is this one right here. See how cute that is? You see how cute that is? Not fabulous. Okay, so let me glue that onto my cup. I love Trinkle Tide. I am gonna miss it. Although the pretty peacock is quite it is pretty. It is very pretty. Okay, but I love the fact that it just makes that corrugated. It's so fun. So fun. Okay. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit to the lip right here of my lid, a little bit of glue, just put it on the top, just like that, and then we're going to stamp that, so get out your paper, oh my god, a little bit of glue, turn that over on the side, we're going to put it up on um, dimensional so it doesn't matter, you just don't want to sit all your other stuff down in it, okay, let me close that up, before you make a bigger mess with that. And then we're going to stamp our Thanks a Latte. So here I did it in green. Which is what I'm going to do in the Tinkle Tide, which I love. If you guys look, when you stamp it, so it feels almost smooth on the, on the surface, right? You can kind of see that there's letters because it's the reverse, right? So instead of the, the ink going on the, le on the image, it goes on the stamp. Look at that. Like gorgeous it looks so cool like I totally like that and it works with the the photopolymer it works so awesome so with the magic I've just already done one and cut it out and that cool <laughs> yeah. okay so then we can go ahead and put this on there a little bit of glue just like that Thanks a latte. It's fabulous. So, and then we want to wrap a little bit of linen thread. Oh, I tore my whole craft room apart earlier because I couldn't find the linen thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue to this side. I'm just going to glue it down. So that holds that down. And like I said, you just eye it just so that it closes. 
Can you guys see how that just closes just like that? And then you need some linen thread, which I love. I think I'm going to wrap it a couple of times. Okay, let's see here. Do do do. Wrap, wrap. And we have some cool Mellow Moss thread in the new catalog, which is super awesome. I think that's pretty big, but that's fine. So, oops, I just knocked into my stand. Okay. So get that out of the way. Close this. Tie a knot. You can do it to either side, whichever side you really like. I have I don't know why I've decided to go on this side this time. Do to do, do make a nice bow while it runs away. Straighten out my pretty bow. Choo, choo, choo. Super long. But that's all right. We will. Now they got my loops the way I like it. This one needs to be a little bit smaller. Like that. And then use my scissors and trim. Do do. Fabulous. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and put this up on dimensionals. That out of the way. And put three on here. I remember you don't want to put anything on the bottom because that's where the it's gonna help keep it closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out where I want this to go. Just like that. See, so you don't have anything on the bottom piece. It's just here at the top. And then we can put our coffee mug on there. I have it so it goes over. So let's add some more dimensionals to our cute little coffee mug. And these coffee mugs are super, they're super quick and easy because you just go run through it, whatever your dime machine is. Oh wait, I don't want it to go. I'm gonna have it hung over a little bit, so make sure you go up a little bit. Yep, there we go. Just like that. I have it on there straight. Muy bien! Isn't that super cute? Super cute! Even with all my fumbles, it was pretty quick and quick, pretty easy. Look how cute that is! And it's super simple. And you can give this, this with these colors. You can do this for a male or female co-worker. So now we just need to add the inside. Like I said, I cut up um, a piece of the cardstock, of the very vanilla cardstock again. And it is at, um, I'll have the measurements on my website. Because I don't see my, my handy dandy Avengers is gone. Oh, here's the thing. This thing is totally messed, moved. Okay. But I think I did it at five and, um, I mean, it's at five and like it's three and, um, three eights or five eights maybe. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll have it on there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use my espresso and add some beans because this one I do have a latte. It is a coffee. So I'll just add a couple beans. Isn't that cute? Oh, you know what I was going to do and I forgot. I actually had cut out strips to go on the edge here. And now I've cut, oh, you know what? I can just turn it over. Duh. Okay. Put your strips on first. <laughs> See, put the strips on first. So I always just cut out a little extra, and I did it, of course, at the same, whatever, um, so it goes that way. 
same thing. Okay, there we go. Now add your beans. Don't drop your stuff all in everything. Ooh. There we go. Bien. Then, then add your glue. Do do to your inside. I really love this. There's some of that new gorgeous paper. I'm totally going to be using the new gorgeous paper to make these cards where you can see half and half. They're so fabulous. It's not nearly as crazy as I seem to make it. I'm trying to get it. And then look at that. So even though your ribbon is right here, it still just slides right in. And then your ribbon can help keep it, especially if you put it in the mail. You can make sure your, your ribbon goes over your card and there, look at that. It keeps it all nice and tight in your card. So we can add, let's add some beans on the back. Before I put away my, my early espresso. Oh, right. And my card stock. See, I almost did it again. <laughs> I love adding the DSP. Um, these little scraps of DSP. Just love adding them. So keep them. It really brings out the colors and then you can add just like that. And don't be afraid to, to stamp on your DSP either. It looks really awesome. I glue it down. Okay, there we go. Muy bien. So regardless of the fact that I, I lost my stuff right here in front of me, it still turned out pretty awesome. Muy bien. So there you go. Isn't that a great cute card? Super cute. Like I said, all these pieces cut out and it makes that little, um, like a little coffee wrap corrugated, softly corrugated. It looks so cute. And then that lovely set that has, you can use this as whip or hot cocoa. There's marshmallows. Um, it's pretty awesome. The little straw I hit, um, on the other card that I did. It's on my blog today. See, I actually used the vellum to make the little, to make the little domed cup with the cute little, I love this, this, that, that share what you love DSP. I love that pink. Oh, the rich razzleberry. Super cute, super cute. And if having the small little card holder frightens you, when you put it on the big card without like that, this is a really big one. <laughs> and it goes, you can do it either way on this one. You can put it in like that or like that which is pretty awesome. It's super cute. But yeah, you can add this. Actually, you can add a panel like this and you can use any of your punches um, to, to get, you know, just add a pretty panel to any of your cards to make that an instant card gift holder, which is super cute, but I like that. Just like that. Muy bien. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's card. Like, so you can get all of these um, stuff in my online store. Um, the links are on my website and on my Facebook page. And May 1st, which is Wednesday, you um, go ahead and order. If you order one of these, everything is rosy boxes. It's a whole product medley um, for me. If you order by before the 7th, I'll send you um, a free set of Night of Navy um, Stampin' Blends. Or if you order it at all during the month of May, I will also send you... A, a card made from this set because I'm getting it too first thing and um, a set of rhinestones so if you order by the seventh you can get rhinestones and the blends which is super exciting and if you are watching on Facebook on the replay give me a little love and hit the like button um, and if you're watching this on YouTube you know smash that subscribe button so you can get um, updated when notified when any of my other new cards are up so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and your rest of your week and happy crafting.